Number 65. An athlete crosses a 25-meter wide river by swimming perpendicular to the water current at a speed of 0.5 meters per second relative to the water. He reaches the opposite side at a distance of 40 meters downstream from his starting point. How fast is the water in the river flowing with respect to the ground? Okay, so here's a picture. Here's the uh, swimmer. Let's say he's starting at this location, and he's swimming uh, at a velocity relative to the water of 0.5 uh, meters per second. Okay, there is also a current, right, and he's swimming perpendicularly to the current. So there's a current taking him downstream, all right? And it's taking him downstream so that when he ends his swim, he ends in this location, whereas he started here, okay? The width of this river is 25 meters, as we highlighted here, and he ended up 40 meters downstream at the end. So what we, now, what we need to find out is how fast is the river flowing with respect to the earth? All right, so here's the question. Let me ask you let, let me ask you guys one one question here. How long did it take him to cross the river? Can we figure that out? I think we can, right? If you think about it now, although his actual path, right? His actual path will look something like this. Right? That's going to be his actual path. He's still swimming with a velocity perpendicular to the current and uh, perpendicular we have to then assume to the shore. Right, so here's here's the shoreline. So his velocity is always going to be pointing north, although the current is taking him out to the east. So we do know the velocity, all right, uh, this velocity namely, uh, in the positive y direction. We also know the distance he will cover eventually in that positive y direction. Okay, so let's calculate that. So we have the velocity is equal to, right, simple distance, uh, distance over time or displacement over time. So the velocity he has is 0 0.5, right, meters per second. That will equal the 25 meters he's got to cover. And let's see how long it's going to take him to do that. So we have a value here of, so t is equal to 25 over 0 0.5. So t will simply be just 50. So it'll take him 50 seconds to cross the water or cross the river. Okay, easy enough. Now, can I figure out how fast uh, this, the velocity of this water is moving? Well, I think we possibly can, right? So how can we think through this? Well, not only did it take the swimmer 50 seconds to cross the, oop, oop wrong, wrong button. Not, not only did it take the swimmer 50 seconds to cross the river this way, right? But it also took him 50 seconds to cross the river this way, right? Because remember, his overall resultant velocity was right here, right? Or as I should say his, yeah, yeah, his resultant velocity is there, right, with respect to the Earth. So since this time that I just found not only covers the distance to get to the other shoreline, it also covers the distance it took him to get downstream, okay? So that being said, I can do another formula, right? A V is equal to D over T, where the velocity now is what we're looking for, the velocity of the water with respect to the Earth. And that will simply be the distance he traveled there in the, y, in the uh, X direction, right? Because this is an X component, and this is also an X component. So that's uh, going to be 40 meters, right? All over 50 seconds. Okay, so the velocity of the water with respect to the earth or the ground is simply going to just be 40 over 50, which would just come out to be 0 0.8. So 0 0.80, um, and that is meters per second. So that is the velocity of the water with respect to the earth or the ground. Okay, so that answers that question. Now let's take a look at the next. So what is the speed of the swimmer with respect to a friend at rest on the ground. All right, so let's say, um, you know, let the, where, the, where, where is the friend in the picture? I don't know, let's say he's here, right? So if the friend is here on shore, all right, what is he gonna see the swimmer doing? Well, he's gonna see the swimmer traveling like this, right? From his perspective, it looks like the swimmer is traveling this direction. 
So great. Well, in order to find the speed of the swimmer, right, with respect to this friend, I have to know not only the time it takes for the swimmer to go from here to here, which we know, right, that's still 50 seconds. So the time doesn't change. So it's still 50 seconds. But I also need to know then the distance between here and here, right? So how do I find that? How do I find that distance? Well, look, I know this horizontal distance. And guess what? I also know the vertical distance, right? So if I start putting things together, what does it begin to look like? It begins to look like a triangle, right? If I have my coordinate system here, and I know he's traveling in this direction somewhat, and I also know that this, um, let's say this vector here is 40, right, meters. This is just in terms of distance instead of velocity, but this is 40 meters. And I also know that this distance here was 25. How do I find this? How do I find this? Pythagorean's theorem, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's do that. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So we have 25 squared plus 40. 40 squared will equal C squared. And then to find the C value, you just simply square root the left side. So second square root of 25 squared plus 40 squared. And we get a value of 41.7. No, sorry. I guess, well, I didn't think I was dyslexic, but maybe I am. 47.1, but it's really two because we have to round. So this is meter, uh, this is just in meters. Okay. So now that is the distance. So now I also know the distance here that he actually traveled relative to this observer. He traveled 47.2 meters. So now how do I find the velocity? Well, it's easy, right? Velocity is equal to distance over time. Velocity is equal to 47.2 all over 50. So his velocity here relative to his friend, his good old buddy, will be 47.2 divided by 50, which is 0 0.94. So 0 0.94 meters per second. Okay, guys, hopefully that helps. Thanks for joining in. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.